So was there stuff that you weren't able to do because it's fifty million dollars and therefore that won't play in? You yeah, know? absolutely. There like were what? Well, there was a the, the theological uh, element um, in the film. There's a there's a big you know creationism versus evolution that was slightly better developed in the original script, or rather we 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 dwelled on it a little longer. There was there was more discussion. There were like long moments of just talking, you know, which we kind of like the idea of just seeing an alien waxing th philosophical about religion with a creationist girl, and um, that that I mean I agree it kind of wasn't pushing the story along, and we kind of needed momentum so that kind of stuff would go or just slightly more edgy over here that bit will be okay we know about that we know about the debate but in america will that make it that whole uh the because basically she's a creationist there's intelligent design and she her views are kind of she she changes her mind when confronted with the alien yeah will that be quite a controversial bit in the states where people go you know what i found it quite funny but i didn't like that. yeah it's just I'm not controversial i'm here. sure it, it will be yeah i mean that was never our that, you know, we didn't, we didn't intend to ruffle to fellas, that. but fellas, feathers, or ladies. <laughs> but um, we'll ruffle some fellas. We'll, we'll ruffle a couple of fellas. We, what we were interested in was the notion that someone's someone's very very rigid belief system could be shattered in a single moment of proof. You know, and there, any film which has aliens in it negates the tenets of that kind of really you know high end or high end extreme christian yeah. faith which is that god, god created the earth in a certain amount of days it's a he's a man on an upstairs kind of deal um and by the i mean et is blasphemous you know that any film where that, that suggests that there is anything other than this planet where we are the center and we are the most important things in the universe kind of contradicts those things we just talk about it a little bit and ruth we just love the idea of a girl being born again, you know, ironically, as something else by a moment. Unborn again. Unborn yeah. again, exactly, yeah. <laughs> and the, the idea is that, is that Paul's existence validates Graham and Clive's belief system, which is in UFOs and, you know, science fiction, and negates Ruth's, which is in uh, this sort of very rigid uh, uh, intelligent design thing. There was a lot more talk of that in the original script about, about irreducible complexity. And... But intelligent design in the States is kind of widely held belief tenet, isn't yeah. it? So the but it's a fantasy. But it's like, as Nick says often, you know, it's a film, a comedy film about an alien. I mean, if your faith yeah. is rocked by it, then it's yeah. Not but people's problem. ability to get cross about things is not rational. It's, I mean, yeah, particularly, and particularly true. in that area. I mean, yeah. of all the areas that you could have roughed. It's not even like we can sit down with with them and kind of say, "Hey, look, it's a film." You know, it wouldn't even get that far. No. They're just they're angry. I think we were saying we'd do a special edition where Christ lands in a big cross-shaped spaceship just to please both <laughs> sides. You know.